Hello, my name is Dr. Andrew Burnett Thompson, owner of ABT Software Services, and I'm here today to introduce SciChart to you. So, what is SciChart? SciChart is a WPF and Silverlight charting component designed for the scientific, medical, and financial industries. SciChart is extremely fast. A little over six months ago, there was nothing out there on the market that could render at these sorts of speeds. ABT Software have made it their aim to open up WPF and Silverlight to a whole new subset of users that previously couldn't use these technologies because they were too slow. So let's have a quick look at what SciChart can do. If you go to our website www.scichart.com and click on Demo, On this page we have a fully functional Silverlight demonstration application which can be run in a browser. This requires Silverlight 5. If you don't have Silverlight 5 installed, you can download a trial version of SciChart which is uh, WPF and Silverlight compatible. The trial version contains the source code examples as well as the demonstration application, tutorials and documentation and also has a license for 60 days of usage. Let's take a quick look at the demonstration app. Okay, so you'll see that this application is split up into categories. Similar chart functionality are grouped. So here we have create a basic chart, create a multi-series chart, create real-time charts. Let's take a look at some of the basic charts. So click on line chart and here we can see a simple two-axis line chart. On the right-hand side there is a button which you can click to see the source code that created this example. That's it. So literally one XAML file, one code behind. When we began writing SciChart, we started off by creating all of our examples using MVVM. However, many users complained that they didn't understand the examples, they were too verbose. So many of them are now simple code behind, one file for XAML, one file for c -sharp. That doesn't mean that SciChart doesn't support MVVM, it's just that we categorize these lower down in the list. MVVM examples at the bottom. So what type of charts can SciChart render? Well we have a line chart, we have a column chart which is basically a bar, uh, we have a candlestick chart which is useful for financial use, uh, we have a mountain or an area chart and we have a scatter chart. Um, SciChart can render multiple series on the same chart of different types. It can support legends. SciChart supports gaps in series or continuation where there's a gap. SciChart can render a scrolling chart. So here we have what's called a FIFO, first in first out chart, where data is pushed onto the right and once it reaches a certain threshold the entire chart will scroll. Similarly, SciChart supports extremely large data sets. So here we have a application where we are literally pushing a thousand points every 20 milliseconds to the chart so we're quickly getting up into the millions of data points. Yes, this is a WPF chart and Silverlight. It doesn't use DirectX. It's pure managed code yet here we are rendering three million points in a Silverlight application. Um, this chart is fully interactive once you have uh, loaded millions and millions of points and as you can see it's extremely smooth. SciChart supports logarithmic axis. So here we have a demonstration where there is a logarithmic X and Y axis. SciChart supports multiple Y axis. In this demonstration we have eight axes, four on the left and four on the right, and one series registered per axis. We can manipulate the axes individually. We can have one or more series on each axis. SciChart supports zooming and panning. In this example we have two axes on the left and the right and we can zoom in, we can reset our zoom and we can drag like so. SciChart supports dragging of axes which we've already demonstrated but here it is again and we can restrict which axes can be dragged so only the X direction, only the Y direction. SciChart supports panning so we can drag the entire chart and zoom and pan it around. It also supports panning in only one direction. So here we have X direction panning only and here we have Y direction panning only. SciChart supports theming. So here we have a chart which is styled to look like an oscilloscope. 
this uh, example has got quite a lot of features. This is actually an MVVM example as well. Um, it incorporates panning, it incorporates zooming, um, there's interactivity which we call the rollover modifier which gives you feedback about the chart data points and uh, we have a cursor. In addition this chart type supports step line. SciChart supports financial charts. So here we have an example where we have a data set. This is uh, the Dow Jones Industrial Average over a year, daily data, and it's rendered as a candlestick. Um, we also have some other data sets to show um, a little bit more. This is an hourly data set, hourly bars of the Euro USD dating back to January 2001. So this is, I think it's 100,000 bars. And as you can see, it's very, very responsive. So we can zoom right in here. We can use a rollover, we can see values, we can pan the chart, um, we can have a cursor. Cursors work across multiple charts as well. And we have this little control here which lets you expand the range and zoom, which is really, really useful. So SciChart also supports um, modification to series. So here we have data point markers. These data point markers have been optimized so they can be extremely fast. You can render hundreds of thousands of points with point markers and it won't slow down. Um, SciChart supports annotations. Here we are rendering arrows for buys and sells over the top of the chart and each buy and sell has got a tooltip which binds to data. SciChart supports hit testing. In this example, we can click on the chart, and at the bottom you can see there's a list of results. So hit, false, false, false. But if we click on a data point, you'll see that hit is true. And the nearest data point coordinate and data value are given as well. So this example demonstrates the rollover, which um, you've seen in a couple of other examples. But it's just a little bit simpler. It's a single code file um, with XAML and code behind demonstrating two series and the ability to select a series and um, we can also filter the rollover to only selected series or only unselected series. So SciChart supports series selection which you've just seen so in this example we can click on a series and we have a legend that binds to only the selected series. SciChart comes with many themes out of the box. So here we've got expression light theme. We can change this. This one is a, sort of a dark theme which looks very good in financial applications. Uh, we've got a plain white one which many people like to uh, use, uh, especially if they don't want to build an application with similar styling to SciChart. And we have a couple of shaded ones. Um, we've got expression dark. This is our default theme um, which just has a sort of a dark grey background. Um, oscilloscope which gives you a very nice oscilloscope looking effect and uh, also if you want to create your own style you can uh, I wouldn't suggest that you create one like this it looks horrible um, but you know it's kind of used to demonstrate what can be colored and uh, it's pretty simple to see what colors are where so we've got major lines minor lines um, series themselves borders backgrounds chart titles tick marks labels etc etc um, finally, we've got a couple of MVVM examples. So here we've got an example where we've got nine charts and these are bound to uh, nine individual view models which are hosted by a parent view model. And we also have a simple MVVM example here which is uh, a, a basically a XAML file with no code behind, one view model and uh, you can append data to it in real time. So that's a quick overview of SciChart and um, just to take you back to the website here. So www.sidechart.com, come and have a look, you can download a free trial or look at our demos online. We've got some support as well. We've got a, a list of blogs and tutorials which you can view and um, we've got community forums as well. These are new, these have only been added in the last couple of weeks. So if you want to come and have a, have a look at SciChart, if you've got a problem, post something on the forums and someone will get back to you. Um, usually within 24 hours. 
So I hope you've enjoyed this presentation and uh, feel free to email us at info at abtsoftware.co.uk if you have any comments, suggestions or feedbacks. Thanks very much.